You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk. Like some damn mother hen. Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Hey, uh... Wait a sec. I know what I said, but if you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. Really? The tops, huh? Well, it's no Shark Club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. 
He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter a little. Thanks, but if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the Silver Rush. You must have some real pull with House to get inside the Lucky 38.
Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly Rowan and Caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Yeah, go on. Scram. Hello? I hear Benny got force-fed a little slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today, as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here. But honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. Now, why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Till next time. There. Any luck with Garrett yet? Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great! Thank you! Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the silver. Morning. Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. 
Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Have a good time, baby. Hello. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? The cowboy act, yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. Three percent of the cut comes to a hundred caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your 3%, baby. You enjoy that. That comedian, you mean? Yeah, he was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your 3%. That ugly mug with the razor tongue? Dig it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your 3%. You know it, baby. Take it easy, baby. I hope Swank's smarter than Benny. Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Top Hotel. Oh, now. Have a good time, baby.
It's uh, great to be up here, looking down at all your smiling faces. That won't last long. If you had your life to live over again, let me make a suggestion. Play in traffic. I hear you got a ready wit. Tell me when it's ready. The more I think of you, the less I think of you. This gal's so sharp-eyed, she cuts herself every time she blinks. How about a hand for the Rat Pack? The band that inspired that great saying, Stop the music! Was that suit made to order? It was. And where were you at the time? Somebody told me the other day you were bright. I wasn't sure if you meant smart or radioactive. Swank is here, ladies and gentlemen. Make yourself at home, Swank. Hit somebody! Look at you. You look like a talent scout for a cemetery. Later. Hello? How's it hanging? I hope Swank's smarter than Benny. Hey. It's great to be How's here at the hanging? tops, folks. The room I'm in has a lovely little closet. A nail. Ho! Oh. I told my wife, she's good looking for a ghoul. It's just too bad she's not a ghoul. Ay, ay, ay. So I hear Mr. House runs the strip. He took it over from the last guy. Mr. Mob infested hellhole. Did he just say that? My hotel room is so small. When I put the key in the lock, I broke the window. I try to be frank and earnest with women. In New Reno, I'm Frank. And in the boneyard, I'm Ernest. Oh, no! I've been in love with the same woman for 17 years. If my wife ever finds out, she'll kill me. No! My wife and I know the secret to a happy marriage. Two times a week, we go to a nice restaurant. She goes Mondays, I go Fridays. They really care about your privacy here at the Tops. Even room service has an enlisted number. What? A ghoul goes to a doctor and says, Doctor, doctor, I have this horrible rash. The doctor says, Son, that's called your face. Ding dong. I take my wife everywhere, but somehow she keeps finding her way back. I did it. Hey, what about that suit Benny wears? If I had a suit like that, the ladies would be all over me. What? You expect a punchline? The guy pays my salary. It's true. I've been married for 17 years. Where did I go wrong? Oh. I had dinner at the Ultra Lux the other night. I told them my steak tastes funny. They said it was a clown. I ate a person. People say it's hard to survive the wasteland. Hey, how hard can it be? The water glows in the dark, and it burns. I bought my wife a little car here in New Vegas, an Omerta. It has a hood under the hood. Ay ay ay. I know a guy, his motto is love thy neighbor. He lives next to a brothel, oh no. My cousin and his wife are a fastidious couple. She's fast, and he's hideous. Ha-cha-cha. -cha. I hear James Garrett drove 5,000 head of Brahmin to New Reno. No bodies, just the heads. Benny. Sure, Did later. you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Hey. Ring-a-ding, baby. Did you know the strip sauce? Stirred up lately? Ring a ding, baby. Hello?
Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? Evening. There we go. Oh my god. I am so sorry, guys. I did not realize I have been muted all this time. <laughs> oh, well, at least you've been hearing the game. So, yeah, the plan is to take in all of the acts on the strip. And oh, here comes the uh, red pack. Oh, starring Tommy Torini, apparently. Oops, now we don't have audio from them. Uh, hold that thought. Uh, where did our audio go? Ah. OBS is the frickin' worst tonight. Um, I'm going to turn the game audio up a little bit while I'm here. There we go. There's not a lot of audio to be had. You can't hear the dancing. And there's no music. I mean, they're lovely dancers. This would be great if there was actual, you know, tapping or music playing along with them. But, you know, these games, you can only ask so much. Let's hear it for the Rad Pack, ladies and gentlemen. Get down with your bad selves. They got moves. I mean, this is well animated dancing. Yay! Bravo! And now you're going to stand there unmoving and smoking in unison. <laughs> Synchronized smoking. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. You did. Okay, wait an hour. And that puts us just ahead of Bruce Isaac. I hope Swank's smarter than Who will Benny. be singing for us. I dig this crazy slang. I dig this crazy slang. This crazy slang is pretty crazy. Here he is, Bruce Isaac, ladies and gentlemen. Ring a ding, baby. Is he singing? Oh no! Is it bugged? He's not singing anything. Oh no. When I nuked the music, I nuked all the music. Oh no, I really wanted to hear the Lonesome Drifter. Hey. I could have sworn I left them in. Oh, I must have taken them all out. Shit. Oh. Let's fast forward and see if the Lonesome Drifter sings. Oh. I'm about to be very pissed at myself. Any? 
Yeah, I I used uh, a patch that removes all music just so I'd stop. But I thought it was just radio music. Apparently, I was wrong. You dig this crazy Unless scene he what? sings radio music and the drifter does not. We can hope. <sighs> Shitty. This may be a bummer from the last couple acts. Let's see. Okay, we're almost there. Bring on the lonesome drifter. How's it hanging? He's a hell of a performer. I mean, he's got moves, but hey, there's the I wish we could roller. hear him. <laughs> I may have to remove oh, the, the better looking at Gamora. Remove the what are they called? Mod. Remove the mod that removed the music and see if we can't get the performances. Let me just reapply it. Except I mucked with the music as well. So... I may have replaced his singing with somebody else's. Ring a ding, baby. Yeah, I may have, I may have fucked up the game. <laughs> okay, get off the stage. <laughs> you want to see the lonesome drifter? Hello. There he is. Lonesome Drifter. Nope, can't hear him either. Nope, I nuked all the music. Ah, eh, the broads are better looking at Gamora. How's it hanging? Dang. I really wanted to hear him play. Oh, oh. sad face. Okay. Because I hear his songs are really genuinely great. I'll have to see if I can find them on my hard drive and listen to them. Okay. Well, we at least got to hear the comedians. For better or for worse. <laughs> okay. So it's late in the evening. Excuse me. Um... So let's see. What do we want to do? Uh, we could do the bounties. They're fun. They're hard fights, but they're interesting fights. Uh, wild cards, side bets. Oh yeah, I've got to make contact with... All of the assorted, uh, we can go, we can go to Red Rock Canyon and meet the Great Khans. They've got some good missions. Let's see. Render into Caesar. We still haven't met Kaiser. And I'm not going there with Arcade because Arcade has history with the Legion that we haven't gotten into yet. And I uh, don't want to fuck with that. Kill or disable Mr. House. I want to do this, but I think it triggers the end game. Uh, I'm not bringing him the platinum chip. Ah, here we go. Oh, no! What the? Why did you scroll? Why do you keep scrolling? There we go. Okay, Dr. Henry in Jacobstown. Where is Jacobstown? Way the hell over there. Okay, let's go to Vault 22 and make our way from there to Jacobstown. I should have dumped stuff before we did this. Stay out, the plants kill. Stay in, the bugs kill. Um, oh, I am unarmed. Ha ha ha. They, uh, took my weapon from me. I was using that. 
Okay. Probably should have bought ammo. Definitely got to avoid those. Those are nasty. Um... I'm facing the wrong way. So we've got to go past those. Um, let's go up and over. <laughs> We're gonna stay this side of the Cazadors because Cazadors are nasty motherfuckers. We don't want to fight him. So let's just avoid them if we can. Okay, so we're going. Oh, I didn't need to go this far out. Maybe I did on the other side of this mountain, isn't it? <laughs> we're, we're having the Skyrim problem where everything we need is on the other side of a mountain. Oh, we were going to check out Ra Ranger Station Charlie. Oh, well, we're already on the road for this. I'm making a decision. There we go. Up through this mountain pass, maybe. I don't know if we can get out of here. Uh, nope. And, yes. 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 Okay. Shit. Cazadors. is the man, the myth, the legend. Poisoner Poison Gland. Okay. We'll go this way. Because there's another chasm right up there. Oh, it's a okay. anyway. Sunny, we're coming all this way to uh, help you out. Where's Rex? Rexy, old boy. Trying to find my dog. Let's see. Shit. Oh, there he is. You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Don't do that. Save. <laughs> ah, big dog. All right. I think we're. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I'm looking straight at it. If we go this way, I also see a road that leads to it. Maybe we should be taking the. A lot of Cazadors around here. Like a lot. There's 
probably some uh, bigger stuff as well. I know. Oh. Great, I'm poisoned. I love to get back. Oh, ouch. Oh, ouch, ouch. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Oh. Yep, that didn't go well. Okay, we're gonna find the road. Because <laughs> fuck this. Um. How do we get to that road? Um, we walk in the direction I'm pointing. We will get to a road. That will lead us to where we want to go. And we'll probably have a lot less Cazadors. A lot fewer Cazadors. Grammar! Grammar is a thing. Oh, last night, uh, I was hanging out with my, uh, my mom, my brother, and my sister, and we watched the first episode of The History of Swear Words on Netflix, and it is, it is genuinely interesting. It was, it was a lot of fun to watch. It's hosted by Nicolas Cage, so it's automatically awesome, and I really enjoyed it. The first episode is fuck. And it's a hoot. It is absolutely a hoot to watch. Excuse me. What is this? Oh, this is a playground. Hmm. Playgrounds always make me sad. In this game. <laughs> Not in real life, I mean. <laughs> I have a kid. Playgrounds are a way of life. Um, but... Um, let's see... I am way off the mark. Where is this road? Did I pass it? No. I am just about to it. It's gonna take me way the hell out of the way. In a big wiggly... What the fuck. But... It'll be safer... Ish... Than... Uh, going cross country. We won't get ma mobbed by giant swarms of Cazadors. Ideally. Hopefully. I see a ruined caravan. Is this an abandoned farm? It's hard to tell the difference between abandoned farms and working farms in this game. It looks pretty abandoned. Let's take a look at this caravan. Whatever killed it is probably going to jump up and try and eat me. Griffin wears sack caravan. A crutch, noodles, tin can, and vodka. A lot of empty stuff. Pile of ash. Plasma rifle. Yep. They too have been hit by the uh, Silver Rush people.
Oh, it's a flower. <laughs> I saw what looked like a human shape. And it was wigging me out. It's like, is there a ghost? Are there ghosts in this game? But no, it's a banana yucca plant. <laughs> I is smirked. Okay, is this where we turn off? Yes. Because it looks like that leads to nothing. <laughs> the road stops there. We reach the edge of the map. <laughs> okay, it is almost 10 o'clock. So saith my bladder. Um, I'm going to need to take a quick break. And this looks like as good a place as any to do so. I'm going to hit the correct button. Save. And I will be right back.
Hello. Welcome back. I am ready to rumble. Let us get to Jacobstown. <sighs> I just realized I don't have a lot of ammo for this weapon. And we're about to go up against freaking super mutants. This may have been a dumb move. Hopefully we'll find a place to uh, use as a fast travel point somewhere short of Jacobstown. And we can go back and buy ammo. <laughs> because... This could be suicide. I'm not sure. Um, oh, those are uh, big horners up there. They're probably not going to eat me. Probably, maybe, possibly. One's approaching. Get some meat. Don't even joke, they will come down and kill you. <laughs> okay. We've gotten through Valley of the Big Horners. Just not a fast travel point. Get some big trees. There's so much more nature in this this one and some of the others. There's actual green trees and actually no, fall up forehead. Greenery as well. It just feels very green for a desert. But I've never been to a desert, so deserts could be greener than I get from credit. Okay. Pile, mantis for legs. I have never figured out a use for mantis for leg. Except as a really shitty sell to merchants item. I don't think there's a recipe for them. What are you doing at now? Mantis country. You can't stop here, it's Mantis country. Snow-capped mountains. I was not expecting that to see that out here. Oh, that's right. Or, uh, I mean, I've been to Vegas. I've flown over Vegas. <laughs> I know these exist. Okay, we are approaching. 
Yep, those are super mutants, all right. Let us... All right, we are going to save. And we're going to approach cautiously. Wait a second. Is this the friendly super mutant town? I think we might be okay, guys. Or could be wrong. They're not attacking. And I'm right here. Hello? Dr. Henry Finchmark. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the Nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. I'm looking for Dr. Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. I have... I have many questions about Jacobstown. Such as? I'd like to know about you. <laughs> Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with the tribal. Now I'm here. You, you are remarkably well spoken for a super mutant. Long story, so here's the short version. The master created the super mutants and nightkin. The master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. Didn't end well. Mm. You're a mayor? Town was broken hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Tell me more about the tribal. We were looking for a geck to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. Are you from another game? <laughs> I think he's from another game. Um, yeah, that, that sounds like the plot. I think that's Fallout 2. Yeah, I think that's Fallout 2. Let's talk about something else. All right. Uh, why do the super mutants dislike the NCR? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? Fair. I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. You know you're fuckers when even the super mutants don't like you. What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. That makes the NCR too ambitious. They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Viva la revolution. Anything else you can tell me about the NCR? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Uh, do you deal with New Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Uh, Amazes not. me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. It is pretty amazing. Let's talk about something else. All right. What's wrong with the Nightkin? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. Oh, great. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Gotcha. Any town rules I need to know about? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. 
We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Okay, we'll save here. See you. <laughs> because not steal anything I can do. Not start fights. Um, hey, cosplay cleric, how are you? I am doing well. Let's go with the weapon. There we go. Yet be do well. How be do with you? Do be do be do. We are in a friendly super mutant town. I almost started shit immediately. So, uh, yeah. Friendly. Fighting with boom arms. Oh, those things are such pains in the ass. Well, yeah, well, they haven't attacked me yet. So, we'll consider it friendly. Are you a night can? You look like a night can. Yeah, you're blue. We will not look at you. <laughs> they don't. They don't wish to be perceived. <laughs> okay, let's find the doctor who's gonna heal my dog. Another human. What was enough? What was enough? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, okay, you don't wish to be perceived. You'll probably be in and out, but you're lurking. That is perfectly fine. Have fun lurking. Calamity. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. I like you already. Uh, what do you do here? Most of the time. I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. Once in a while, I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. Uh, oh, I can sell stuff to you. All right. Sick. Okay, do you have ammo? You do not have ammo. You have stim packs, but I, th I think I have stim packs too. Let's see. Let me sell you some of my heavy shit. <laughs> Hydrate. Yes, um. Cheers, my dear. Ah. Stream Elements wants you to hydrate. I gotta do it too. That's fair. That is more than fair. All right. I am hydrated. Okay, I've got like four cartons of cigarettes. We can get rid of those. Um, I don't know if there's any thing I can do with Cazador eggs or poison glands, but they're worth a lot of money, so I will happily sell those. Um, fishing batteries. Do I need those for anything? I think those were extras. They're heavy. I don't want to carry them. But I'm gonna need them for something. And I'm gonna be pissed that I sold. Excuse me. So we'll hang on to this. Excuse me. I need to find a place to cook. I've got so much meat and random shit here. Rid of the mantis four legs that I grabbed. Missiles. Packs of cigarettes. Um, plasma rifle. Pre-war money. How much money do you have? Because I have a lot of this shit. Hmm. <laughs> But it also weighs nothing. I can sell it someplace where there's more money available. Let's see. Oh wait, no. Turpentine is actually something useful. Or was that in the other game? Turpentine was useful in Fallout 4. I don't know if it's useful in this one. I'll hang on to it just in case. It's been so long since I've been to a crafting station that I don't remember 
what's useful, what's crap. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Okay, do I need something repaired? No. You have an interesting name. <laughs> Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. I've never oh. really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. Anyone other than super mutants come this way? Prospectors looking for salvage usually. They always run when they see the mutants. Fair, I the understand. The great cons come this way once in a while. But they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Fair. Bye. Okay. That's, you must be the doctor. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Sorry. Something's wrong with my cyber dog. I was told to come to you. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long. So you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years. But there was one woman in Novak. Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I bet you it affects the dog's personality. Because the person we have the bounty on right now, uh, Violet, has a pack of loyal fighting dogs that she, uh, that she fights with. So I could probably get a brain out of one of those. Um, and old lady Gibson probably has a friendlier dog. So I have a feeling, depending on who I get the dog from, it will affect brain. Um, I want to fight Violet. I, I don't want to take a brain from an old lady's dog. Ugh. This is terrible. Um, I'll visit old lady Gibson in Novak. See what her dogs are like. And if I, if guilt becomes too heavy, I'll go fight Violet and take one of her dog's brains. Ugh. Let's talk to the duck. Surprised to find another human here. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Fair. Uh, what you working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. Oh, that's I've great. also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Fair. Does stealth boy use hurt humans? <laughs> it's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Good to know. Um, they're gonna ask me to go out and find Night Stalkers. Eh. Ah, I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one. And I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Oh yeah, that's great. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well. But they've come back empty handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big horners to Night Stalker attacks. And would enjoy a little revenge. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, let's talk about something else. If we must. You're a scientist? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. 
Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Canine neuroscience? Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. Let's talk about something else. If we must. Goodbye. Yes, yes. Okay, fucking off now. Oh. That's a Night Stalker. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well. Let's go to Novak. Okay, the Gibson Scrapyard, which we've never been to. Okay, Gibson Scrapyard is... I would like to put a marker there. There we go. Give it that extra bit of highlight. Careful. They got spies all over. Hey, I still gotta stop somewhere and buy ammo. They're so nice. I don't want to kill the puppers. Mm. Let's find old lady Gibson. I'm mistaken, or is old lady Gibson kind of hot? <laughs> Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Uh, Dr. Henry sent me. I need a new brain for my cyber dog. Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but... You're right. Ray is pretty old, and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. I mean... Ray's like fair. family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. Um... You know... They seem like really nice dogs. Here, Ray! Mama's got something for you! Oh god, I'm horrible! <laughs> I am a horrible person. Oh, I'm leaving now. Let's let's get back to Jacob's time while the brain's still fresh. Oh. Oh no. I, I could have just killed Violet's dogs and been done with it. Got a Oops. problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Uh, how's it been harassing? Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Are you sure they work for the NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. Uh, what do you want me to do? You're a human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. 
Well, let's see what I can get. Thanks. Okay, where are they? Okay. Unfriendly persuasion. Dude, I've got a warm dog brain in my pocket. I need to, uh, deal with it. <laughs> okay. Unfriendly persuasion. The schmuck down here. Yeah. You asshole, Our what's business your deal? is with the muties, not you. Go away, or you'll have to deal with me. And you'll wish you were fighting the super mutants instead. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Good. F off. <laughs> okay. That was quick. It's good to have a high speech. <laughs> okay. You're Marcus, I believe. Something yes. on your mind? You won't have any more trouble with the mercenaries. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. Okay. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. What's the story with Keen? Who's Keen? Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Uh, why is Keen want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. Hmm. What happens if Keen leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Hmm. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. Fair. You're a mutant too. Won't the night can listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Fair. That was right. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others, mutants included. Okay. I apologize. Let's talk about something else. All right. I have got a dog brain burning See. a hole in my pocket. Let me uh, go take care of this. See. Don't want it to go stale. Hey Doc, hey Doc. Is there something else I can do for you? New brain. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. This brain is from Ray, one of old Lady Gibson's dogs. All right, let's see here. Your old pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Go for it. Have a seat. This will take a while. Rex has gained the Faithful Protector perk, increasing his attack damage. How you doing, Rexy? Happy bark. How you feeling, boy? Ah, uh, certainly looking better. I take a closer look at you. Simon Rex's brain case. 
Rex's new brain looks fresh and healthy. Okay. We've got a healthy pupper. Yay. Okay. Totally worth it. All right. Let's get back out of here. You keen? Yeah. Okay. Let's not perceive keen too much. All right. So that was easier and harder than I expected. Okay. That's DLC, that's DLC, that's DLC. Uh, we, I don't think we have the science to fix Edie yet. Uh, those captives. Spread the word of Legion atrocities. No. Uh, to, to kill or disable Mr. House. <sighs> Talk to Kaiser. Make contact with various organizations. Kill Violet and acquire her head. For, that's right, I have to do it and keep their heads intact. I... Have somebody who turns people into goo. And I favor headshots. Huh. What do we have to do with Hardy Glare and Ember? There's nothing left. Find Cass. Acquire Cass. Moon Cass. I want to woo Cass. Oops. Uh, I messed up my chat window. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, deal with Kachino. We need to go to the map. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Thank you for missing new pages. Okay, let's deal with the Americas. Blow Pacino into his bosses. Make friends with them. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Uh, okay. You'll get these back on your way out. Hello and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Uh, can you help me find someone? Depends on who you're looking for. Uh, where can I find the management? Big Sol and Nero split their time in Zuara, overlooking the main casino floor from the balcony. No one but family is allowed up there, though. Um, Depends on who you're looking for. Oh, Troy Troik spends all his days down in Zuara, on the lower level. Depends on who you're looking for. Clandon? Yeah, I know him. You'll probably find him in his room upstairs. He usually just sends down for girls or food. I don't know who either of those people are. Okay. <laughs> let us... Let us... Uh... Use the internet that is at our disposal to figure out what the fuck we have to do here. Uh, Fallout... Nereus... Troy... Okay. 
A smuggler staying in the Com the Gomorrah. Um. Yeah, don't know why I want to talk to him. Uh. What was the other guy's name? Depends on who you're looking for. Landon. He's a mercenary. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Okay. I don't want to deal with them. Okay, it sounds like somebody we need to kill. <laughs> hmm. Oh, maybe there are people I, uh, learned about mm. what is how little we know oh hmm Okay. Well, I've got to deal with both of them. Enjoy yourself. And find a way to talk to Big So. Oh. Let's look at Big So. Okay. Big So. Always open for business. Hmm. I don't know that I've ever done this particular, uh, bit of mission. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can turn Holy in. Holy shit, you've been in Lucky 38? You meet the Landon. elder boss in there. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Using what we know from the internet. Uh, Clandon is bad news. And we need to turn him into somebody in the NCR. Or else he'll create a gas bomb that kills everybody on the strip. <laughs> so, theoretically we have evidence against him. Hello? Um... We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. I bet it feels real nice to be carrying those weapons around on the strip. That damn Mr. House has forbid any NCR military personnel from carrying any sort of firearms on the strip. Well, except for Captain Pappas. Mr. House still doesn't her. trust the NCR. A word of advice. The Securitrons won't put up with any funny stuff out there, so don't do anything We've stupid. Had this conversation. It's your first time on the strip? No, I've been here before. Okay, then. You should know the rules. Just stay out of trouble and have fun. I need to talk to Pappas. Fuck up. That is a supply closet. That is a bathroom. That is also a bathroom. Okay. Where is Pappas? Oh, up here maybe? Hi. Nope. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Okay, and the last time I approached that door, I got my ass shot off. So, I'm guessing Pappas is at the other location? Yes, maybe? Hmm. She might be at the... Ooh, nope, you're not Pappas. <laughs> you're a pucus. Um, to the embassy. We will find Pappas there. Excuse me. Hello. Welcome back. What can I do for you this time? Uh, ma'am. That's the ambassador. We don't want to talk to him. We really don't want to talk to him. We've got a mission we haven't done for him. <laughs> Let's try this way. This looks like barracks, supply closet, dog. Let's try across the hall. Military Police HQ. This might be. Hello. Welcome to Captain Pappas. Anyone seen her? NCR, welcome to you. Welcome to Vegas. Behave yourselves. The fuck? Hey. What is it? Crump. Um. Is this woman? Go 
just sworn I've run into her here. Oh, there you are. I hear you've been meeting with Mr. House in the Lucky 38. Hmm. I bet you think you're pretty special, don't you? Yep. Special or not, stay out of trouble. And more importantly, stay out of my way. Um, what's happening? Yeah, more of the usual. We're keeping an eye on the troopers to make sure they don't do anything stupid. Yeah, the only stupid one we've had lately is Private Irwin. He's starting to cause more trouble than he's worth. Bye. <sighs> okay, apparently I can't talk to her about this guy. So I need to do something in this plot line to learn more about what he's doing. Which means I probably have to give the uh, oh. notebook to Big Cell. Let's see if I can get up and talk to him. If I do this right, I can take down everybody. You know you want a piece of this. Give me some sugar. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gomorrah. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. Be sure to check out the courtyard. Some of the hottest asses in New Vegas Okay, so it's probably up there that I have to go. Hey, buddy. Zawara is off limits to everyone but family. I have business with your bosses. What business is that? One of your soldiers has been breaking family rules. Here's the proof. Yeah? Give me what you got. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Yeah, go talk to Nero or Big Saul upstairs. They'll want to see this. I'll send Kachino to the office as well. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I just had to know where to go. Okay, oops. I am stuck behind the door. <laughs> oh, I know how to use a frickin' door. Big cell? Oh, you are. You got something you need to talk about? I uh, proof one of your lieutenants is dealing behind your back. Do you now? Let's see it. I'll give it to you for 200 caps. Okay, that sounds fair. Here, now give it over. What the fuck is this shit? Kachino, you dumb motherfucker. Yeah, we are going to have some words with Cochino. Meet me in my office. Okay, where's your office? Here, lead the way. Well, hello there. What a coincidence finding you outside the strip. You should have paid your dues, but no. What? You had to play hard, huh? Now it's our turn. Nobody fucks with the NCR and lives to brag about it. Why did they fuck it. with the NCR? You're dead, punk. What a shame. You like what the hell? Um, uh oh. I have a runtime error. <laughs> um, I, ooh. And it's not letting me close out. Okay, I'm clicking okay and it's not going away. Um hmm. Let's try stopping it from here. Damn it, when was the last time I saved? <laughs> okay. Well, that sucked. Um I don't know what the hell. I thought I was in good with the NCR. 
I don't know when I stopped being in good with the NCR. I've got to check my factions when I get into this. Last I knew I was doing great with them. There we go. Okay. Oh. Are we getting... Hmm. We've lost audio. What the... <laughs> we should have audio. Mm. I apologize. Something is really uh, fucked up with my game. Let's try quitting out the healthy way. And reloading and see if that works. This last time it was a. Uh... Hmm. I don't have any audio. I should have audio. Um, hmm. Let me check my computer settings. Oh, <laughs> it's trying to play out to my microphone. That's not going to work too well. Nope, still no audio. Hmm. <sighs> well, Let's try turning it off and on again. Da -da. Da -da. No. Nothing. There should be at least background noise. Oh boy. Well, it looks like um <laughs> it looks like Fallout uh may need to be reinstalled or something because um it is El Fuck Sword. Um <laughs> I've never had this happen before. <laughs> so, um, it looks like, uh, that's going to be it for her stream tonight. Um, I don't have a backup plan. We could play a little Outer Worlds. But I'm still trying to figure out strategy for that. Yeah. I... I don't know. I, I honestly don't know how to fix this. I'm going to have to uh, tinker with it before, uh, before next Friday. And 
see if I can't figure out what's going on with the audio. I don't know if it's an OBS thing. I don't know if it's the game. It, I think it's the game because um, it runs independent of OBS and I wasn't hearing it when I was playing it. Uh, I think I think a file got corrupted because that's that's what wiped me out the first time and I had to restart. It was some sort of runtime error. And yeah, uh, this this particular copy of Fallout has been bugged in a few different ways. So. Maybe a reinstall, hopefully it won't kill my save files, is in order. So I think that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the evening. Um, thank you all. <laughs> thank you all for tuning in. Um, thank you for hanging out. I was hoping to make it to midnight tonight, but the game doesn't seem to want to. Oh... That sucks. Okay. Well, um, I will be back. Excuse me. <laughs> that burrito is not sitting well. Um, I will be back Sunday night to play Outer Worlds. Um, we are currently up to our neck in very difficult bosses or uh, battles. <laughs> Indeed. Um, <laughs> all right. Fuck you, Todd Howard. Who's Todd Howard? <laughs> okay. Um, wherever he is, he's a prick. Um, I, like I said, I will be back Sunday. Um, we're going to do some weapons building and see if we can't fight our way through some Manta Queens on Monarch. Um, there's a bunch of them. And they're big. And they're scary. And I'm thinking... I've got, I've got a few ideas. I, I, I'm workshopping a few ideas. We'll see if we can't figure out how to get through those Manta Queens. Um, but that'll be Sunday night. Have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you soon. Ah, night.